Ganesh and parents. This is your host, uh, uh, Omar Yasha Malik, CEO of Arona International. And today we have a very special guest from Malaysia, and she is Miss Olga Silk, Assistant Manager, International Recruitment Office, uh, uh, University of Kuala Lumpur with us. We'll have a very interesting session with uh, her today and exchange educational program. Uh, before I pass my room and my microphone to her, I would like to give uh, the viewers a view regarding the University of Kuala Lumpur. University of Kuala Lumpur is the leading technical university in Malaysia. It's located in the heart of Malaysia capital and commerce area. University of Kuala Lumpur, in short, UNIKL, aims to provide graduates with the knowledge, skills, and attitude required to contribute towards and play major roles in a globalized knowledge-based economy. UNICAL vision is to become the leading entrepreneurial technical university in the Malaysian context by 2020 through excellence in research, education, training, entrepreneurship, consultancy, and community services. The more narration will be given by Mrs. Uh, Selkia, and I'll pass my microphone and uh, my rooms to her. How are you, ma'am? And how is Malaysia? Hi. Hi, Mr. Malik. I'm good. Thank you. Thank you so much for the invitation. And definitely, it's a pleasure to be here, even though we are remotely uh, very far from each other, but still staying connected. Uh, Malaysia is doing well. We have a beautiful weather today, as usual, after lunch. Um, very big rain because it's a tropical country almost. So <laughs> well, we're going to have a very beautiful weather today. Yeah. Lovely. Uh, so I would um, ask my first question to you. Please introduce your uh, reported university and its program. And if you wanted to use the slide, you can go on. I have sure. slide for you. Well, absolutely. Thank you, Mr. Malik. Uh, I will definitely share the slides because University of Kuala Lumpur is a unique place. And unfortunately, uh, we cannot simply tell in words, um, you know, about it. Uh, we we really want to uh, show to our viewers uh, all the uniqueness of, of the university and uh, how it uh, looks like and uh, what are the programs that we offer. So I'm just trying to start with the page one, so it will be easy for everyone. Uh, is it okay, Mr. Malik? Can you see? No problem. Go on. Yeah. So the first thing is uh, University of Kuala Lumpur. Our slogan is where knowledge is applied and dreams realized. When we're talking about applied knowledge, uh, uh, there that is where the main concept of university HTVET comes into play. And what is HTVET? I will tell you in my uh, you know further slides. Uh, I believe uh, students who, who are following Arona International, they are not only going to study in Malaysia, they probably also looking to study in other countries as well. But uh, here I just wanted to share with you a few things why Malaysia is a, such a beautiful study destination uh, and why it's such a nice study destination, especially right now when we see that the world is not doing well, uh, not well, is not doing well, unfortunately. And I hope that everybody who is listening us today is well and safe and all the families are in a, in a good condition but Malaysia right now is showing to the world that we can really fight the COVID situation and that the COVID situation in Malaysia is under control and Malaysia is one of the first countries in the world to open its doors to new students to returning students and to allow them to return so uh, despite all these facts Malaysia has other uh, really good reasons to study here like we have world-class universities the English language is widely spoken and all the education for international students here is in English language. Uh, it's a very affordable country. Uh, it's the value for money because we're looking at tuition fees, which are approximately five to six thousand dollars per year only. Same as the um, your daily expenses, your meals, your transport. It's uh, very affordable and you can spend as much as three to four hundred dollars a month and have a very comfortable living in Malaysia. Uh, Malaysia is very modern and progressive. You could see, uh, you know, jungles embedded together with trains and uh, uh, modern uh, industries, the huge airports, uh, beautiful roads, so very, really comfortable country in Southeast Asia. And it has very good connection with Bangladesh and with any other destinations 
once you know the borders are opened and it's safe to travel um it's a multicultural society so you will be very pleased to see here uh, a lot of students from bangladesh they study both in unikiel and other universities you can meet your countrymates in, within the student communities you could see here the beautiful blend of malaysian uh, malays uh, Indians, Chinese, uh, other cultures like myself, I'm from Ukraine, and we have, uh, you know, students make a very large population of the country. It's really multicultural and frankly, you will enjoy. And of course, uh, for especially for, for our uh, we, female students who is looking for a safe destination to study, Malaysia can provide it because Malaysia is ranked as the third uh, most peaceful uh, country in Asia. Um, and uh, about UNIKL. So UNIKL here comes to play as a world-class university. We are recognized internationally. We were established in 2002 uh, by the merge of five technical institutes. Uh, currently, we are owned by a Malaysian government agency, which is called Majlis Aman Rakyat, which makes us a semi-government uh, university in Malaysia. And uh, of course, as Mr. Malik mentioned, we are uh, first entrepreneurial technical university. We are combining uh, engineering and technology knowledge with entrepreneurship education to make our students well, well aware of the current situations and what they can do after studies. Um, since we have now about 21,000 students, we are considered as the, one of the biggest government-linked, semi-government universities in Malaysia with the widest uh, network of partners in Malaysia and worldwide. So uh, since 2002, we managed to have 12 campuses in one universities and uh, about 140 programs from the foundation, uh, diploma and bachelor to master and PhD programs, over 21,000 students, over 50,000 graduates. And now we have about 600 uh, full-time students and another uh, 700 students who are our exchange students. So in, um, in our international community, you will not only see students, for example, from uh, South Asia or from Middle East, but you will also meet students from Europe, from Central Asia, uh, who is coming uh, to us to do, their uh, to, to do their exchange in mobility programs. Uh, this is just some of the pictures uh, from the campus. Uh, you could take a look, you could see that we have the um, labs, we have facilities like hangars, uh, workshops, shipyards for the students to do their practicals. And you could even see, uh, you know, by the end of the hard journey, you can actually have a grand convocation and a uh, beautiful picture. Yes, Mr. Merlik. Uh, yeah, uh, we will uh, ask you the second question. Uh, what is the current sure. offer? Uh, from your esteemed university uh, for upcoming intakes. Sorry, uh, what, what did you current, say? Uh, current offer, offer for the university for students in, uh, for particularly for Bangladesh. In terms of programs, is it? Yeah. Uh, of course. Okay. In terms of programs, uh, let me just show you. Uh, UniKL is multi-campus, so our main uh, idea to have 12 campuses is that one campus has one specialization. So for example, if students are interested to study IT, we have the IT Institute, which is called Malaysian Institute of Information Technology, which offers IT specific multimedia specific programs. Or for example, we have campus, which is called Malaysian Institute of Aviation Technology. This campus specifically offers aviation and aircraft maintenance technology programs. So you could see here that in 12 campuses, all specializations are different and students can apply for them for both diploma and bachelor's but also for master and PhD and do research in the specific area so uh, those are the areas that we have we have marine engineering technology we have electrical and electronics and telecommunications we have industrial maintenance and automations uh, we have automotive components and system technology uh, chemical and bioengineering technology uh, product design and manufacturing technology. Uh, some of our new specializations include rail technology and water engineering technology, IT and multimedia, quality engineering and industrial logistics, accounting and Islamic finance entrepreneurship, 
Also, we have medical and allied health science, as well as medical science technology. Uh, and of course, aviation and aircraft maintenance technology. So the students, when they come to UniKL, uh, they don't come for the, you know, uh, theoretical programs. They come for the hands-on. Uh, hands-on, this is what gives us that HTVET, right? The one that I mentioned. So what is HTVET? What is higher technical and vocational education and training? So this is the opportunity for students to learn by doing 60% of the time for most of our programs in on the practical exposure. So it's a practical and hands-on. That's why we have hangers, workshop, teaching factories, laboratories, to make sure students are involved in this hands learning. And then we enhance it together with the online learning, with the professional certifications. For example, if you come for the industrial logistics, then you would go and get the CLT certificate, Chartered Institute of Logistics, transport certificate during your studies. Same goes to different types of engineering that we offer. Also industrial manship. During the four years of study, we bring the students to the factories, we bring the industry professionals to campus to, to give the lectures, to, to get the exposure for students. Entrepreneurship. This is our Technoputra division, which has the different uh, programs to support the startups uh, that are you know, created by students. And of course, GHOX, this is the extracurriculum skills such as leadership, teamwork, uh, communication um, that students get while they study during the extracurriculum activities. This is what we offer to be a well-rounded graduate, which is not only knows, uh, you know, how, what is two plus two sort of say, but also knows how to apply that in real life, how to make business on this and how to present it, how to be part of the industry. So this is what we offer. It's a very unique offering. And um, of course, our students, when they come here, they, they're really excited on the practical learning part because you know now everybody likes to do practical rather than theory. No doubt it's very comprehensive uh, study with excellence uh, that you have already yeah. narrated. So my next question will be, what will be uh, the upcoming index, when it will be? The upcoming uh, generally, uh, we have uh, two intakes in a year. One is January and one is September. Uh, so if I say there is uh, candidates who is interested to join us in September, uh, they can look at the specializations that we have and they can actually still apply before the 5th of August. Okay. So what happens right now since the pandemic situation is ongoing and uh, Malaysian borders are still uh, still uh, generally closed until you get the permission to come in. Uh, what we offer is that once the student apply, they get a pre-approval for a visa from the Education Malaysia Global Services. This allows to start with the online class in, uh, in September. Once uh, immigration processing your visa approval, you can get a permission to travel and then you can transition from the online to offline on campus. So this is a lengthy process because we're in the new, in the new normal, but it's opportunities for students not to lose the intake in September, but to start the class online and transition um, as approvals are obtained to the offline class in the campus. Uh, what is the university's arrangement in a post pandemic situation to deal and safeguard the international student, particularly yeah. Uh, of course, we had, uh, uh, if you follow the Malaysian news in general, you would know that until recently, uh, the universities uh, would host the quarantines for the international students and arrange the online classes to make sure that students do not miss any any class. So, for example, right now, uh, all of our students, uh, except the some of the programs, first semester and last semester students, all of our students are actually studying uh, offline. They are following the, uh, sorry, online classes. We are using Microsoft 365 and Microsoft Teams for the students to get access to all the learning materials, uh, to all the lectures online. We have a very small percentage of students who are actually on campus right now. This is to, of course, limit the, um, the number of students in the campus. We do expect that probably later on, by the end of the year, our students will come back to campus. Uh, but right now, all the new students, if you're an international student and you are not in Malaysia, do not worry. You can still follow the class online and be 
together with with the rest of the students because Malaysia is a very big country. We have parts like you know in the mainland of Malaysia, and we also have part of students who are in the island of Borneo, Sabah, and Sarawak. So some of the students are also follow the classes online. So you will be together with everyone in the same boat if you're joining as a new student. And uh, of course, right now, when uh, yesterday, I think, uh, not yesterday, a couple of, uh, last week, we had announcement from the government that uh, no more universities will host quarantine for the international students as well. So now when the students arrive to Malaysia, uh, after getting the visa approval and permission to travel, uh, permission, once they arrive to Malaysia, they will be taken to the government quarantine centers. And after successful completion of the quarantine period, the universities will pick them up and uh, bring them to the respective campus uh, accommodations and hostels. Uh, during the pandemic uh, last uh, couple of months, uh, it's been also quite busy for university, even though all students were, you know, in the hostels, were following the classes online. But for university staff, it was a very busy period because uh, we have 21,000 student populations that uh, required to, to have uh, daily meals to be delivered to them. So we had Food for Love project where the meals were delivered to all the students, regardless local or international inside the hostels, the radical temperature checks. This is what's done. And if you have noticed, we have a product design campus. So our product design campus was actually producing the face shields, the plastic shields face shields that were distributed to local hospitals. Uh, we have a chemical engineering campus who was preparing actually the sanitizers that uh, we are still using inside of every campus within UniKL on every floor near every door. You could see the UniKL sanitizers that are produced uh, in-house. Uh, we've done a lot of different projects within the pandemic to support the student population and their welfare. So trust me, if uh, you become the international student in UniKio, uh, you will be well taken care of by the uh, student welfare department. Uh, uh, beautiful and very uh, unique and comprehensive, no doubt. Uh, let me <laughs> share uh, views of Bangladesh students and parents. What sure. they think about Malaysia? Uh, the concept of Bangladeshi mentality regarding Malaysia is Bangladesh Malaysia communication wise very easier, which means uh, it takes only three, three and a half hours to reach to Malaysian destination. So it's a very uh, quickie, uh, quickly procedure for Bangladesh to visit Malaysia and come back uh, whenever they want. So uh, since communication is easier, they feel very comfortable, uh, politically very stable, financially very affordable, uh, culturally very similar, and religious-wise uh, uh, secular. So those are the reasons the Bangladeshi uh, student takes uh, Malaysian university and the country Malaysia as the country of dreamy destination. And at the same time, I wanted to share that uh, a large number of Bangladeshi uh, per uh, annum, they are traveling to study in Malaysia, not less than 30,000 as per the stats. Mm -hmm. So uh, 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 now nowadays, Malaysia has become the education hub for Bangladeshi. And another more uh, reason here is because you see in Bangladesh, we have almost 26 private universities. And if you mm -hmm. compare the uh, uh, session fees, you will see that uh, Malaysian uh, uh, offers are more lucrative and uh, with uh, good distinctions because uh, the private university in Bangladesh, they are not uh, rated under SETARA ranking or Times Higher Education ranking or QS ranking, which the Malaysian degree has international recognition worldwide. And that is one of the major reasons uh, Bangladeshis, they take... Uh, uh, this opportunity and scope to study and continue higher education in Malaysia. So I wanted to actually convey my message that your university, no doubt, is a unique model, having uh, multi-dimensional programs uh, that is very, very workable uh, offers for Bangladeshis to build their career in a versatile yeah. field. It is very necessary. So uh, my suggestion and my opinion that uh, we will have to make more sessions and more 
student webinar with you so that your uh, institution gets good expo exposures in Bangladesh uh, uh, for mutual cooperation. And this way, the Bangladeshi will be getting to know about more uh, regarding your university uh, and its proposition. This is uh, my uh, uh, advice and opinion, and I will extend my fullest cooperation because just wanted to share that Arona International is in is a multidimensional uh, organization working for last 10 years in the education sector. We are mainly promoting education uh, expos internationally. Plus, uh, we are extending training and short course certification with the collaboration of Malaysian universities. Beside, we recruit students for Malaysian University. So uh, we have uh, unique packages, not only agencies, uh, that will render uh, international universities like you uh, to have more uh, long uh, expanded cooperation for multilateral interests. This is uh, a short summary that I have tried to Thank convey the message you. to you. Uh, and my next question uh, regarding your university, is there any rebate or discount for the international students, particularly uh, Bangladeshi students, keeping the pandemic situation in mind? What is your yeah. view? Well, uh, we do have some assistance that we provide to international students. Uh, especially those who is joining our pre-university programs and our research-based programs. So, for example, if we are talking about the students who has recently completed secondary school in Bangladesh, uh, we providing currently for all those students 50% discount for the tuition foundation programs. So, in the upcoming December, we are having the foundation program uh, intake specifically for science and technology for students who is interested to join into engineering field or IT field and uh, also for business for students who is interested to proceed further for bachelors in business administration so if let's say there is anybody who just had their all levels or secondary secondary school certificates achieved uh, they can apply for our foundation programs uh, in December intake. And also, if uh, there is out there students who already has bachelor's or master's and they are considering to do the um, research-based programs, like PhD or master's by research, and they're below 35 years old, uh, they can uh, apply for the UNIQL assistance uh, for researchers. Uh, this assistance is actually in the form of the monthly allowance. So once they register with UNIQL, they are able to apply for the assistance and pass uh, to go for the interview if they pass. And then they, of course, um, can get this monthly allowance for researchers. This is the kind of assistance that we are providing. For the rest of the students at the moment, since we understand the pandemic situation, of course, we allow uh, the payments to be done in parts. So for example, students can pay only first semester before, and then some second semester fees later. So we implemented the first semester fees uh, structure for the international students. That's a, a good arrangement. Obviously, it will benefit the student uh, if uh, they get the installment and other method, keeping in mind the pandemic situation and the post-pandemic situation. Yeah. It's a wide arrangement that you made. Uh, uh, my next question will be, what is uh, the specialization beside your unique offer? Why UNIQL has become one of the priority education uh, uh, institution? in Malaysia, what made them according to you? Can you share the message with the viewers so that they can also evaluate and understand your potentiality? Uh, I think uh, what's important when we talk about education those days is of course not just uh, the university name itself. As a university, we are recognized both in Malaysia by a Malaysian Qualification Agency and Ministry of Higher Education, but as well as uh, by the international um, uh, ranking systems. For example, UNIQL, even though being only a young university from 2002, uh, we are currently in the top 300 uh, for the QS Asia ranking. So this is a very big achievement for us. We have joined QS Asia rankings in 2018 and managed to grow 
to top 300 within three years from joining. Another important thing uh, and something that students always ask us when they come uh, to, to talk to the university representatives is uh, where, you, where else are you recognized? Is the other countries recognize you? So in UNIQL, we follow a very simple guideline. Uh, we make sure that the first thing that recognizes the student and his qualification is professional bodies. Because if you go to any industry, they don't only look at your degree where you get it from, but they also look whether any other international bodies or authorities recognizing or whether you have any certificate from there. So for example, if we talk about engineering programs, the two main recognitions that we have is the Sydney and Washington Accord. So our engineering programs, they are uh, recognized depending on the field uh, by either one of the accords. And because Malaysia is the one of the signatories, so any other country signatory for Washington and Sydney Accord would recognize UNIQL degree and UNIQL students. And also when we look to the professional recognition, so you could see here, for example, International Maritime Organization, Chartered Institute of uh, Environment Health, you could see here the Chartered Institute of Logistics and Transport, you could see here Cisco, you could also see he here EC Council, you could see here European Aviation Safety Agency, and there is actually much, much more. So this is just for you to understand the scale and the which is uh, UNIQL programs are actually recognized well Worldwide. Uh, we make sure that uh, it's not just our programs are recognized or audited by the professional bodies. We also embed it for the students to get a, you know, respective the industry professional body certificate while they study. So this is one of the important things for the students. And, and definitely when we look at the countries' recognitions, which countries recognize UNIQL degrees. So of course, the Commonwealth countries recognize UNIQL program as well as China, Indonesia, uh, in Middle East. So the students have a very good options uh, when, when they look to uh, work overseas, for example. It's an excellent uh, uh, arrangement, no doubt, again, because the professional bodies, once they recognize uh, for uh, the students uh, after graduation or uh, also obtaining the degrees, uh, the employability uh, is secured. So, which means mm -hmm. that they will have no problem to place them to any part of the global platform, uh, having the degrees from uh, UNICAL and uh, undoubtedly, uh, they will have a good startup, uh, not a problem at all. So this is a very good news for Bangladesh as long as, uh, because your programs are so unique and so versatile, uh, anybody can, uh, if he has a good dream, he can uh, make the dream into reality with a unique uh, degree uh, without a doubt. Uh, uh, nice, yeah. nice to know. Uh, I, I wanted to know one more question. Uh, for the professional uh, 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 skill people of Bangladesh, what sort mm -hmm. of uh, short course and training your university is extending to the international uh, platform? For example, if there is a student, we wouldn't call them students, we would call them the young Profe professionals yeah. or professionals who is looking for the different types of short courses we have. Uh, a uh, very basic one like language or of office skills, but we also have a very detailed and professional ones which lead to a certain specialization or which lead to a certain certification. Actually, the full list of these short courses is available on our website. Uh, I think there is more than 60 uh, various short courses available, including even languages. Uh, you may take a look and of course during the pandemic times uh, we can conduct some of the classes online for the short courses uh, and at the same time uh, if let's say there is an interest for the whole group to come to the university and um, you know uh, experience the training and lectures in the university it can it can be also done after the pandemic so i suggest you check it out our website and uh, but all the qualifications or short courses related to our main specializations are there. If you're looking into marine, if you're looking into aviation, automotive, chemical, engineering, food technology, uh, IT, business, uh, majority of, of the short courses that we offer, they are related to our main specializations. Bangladesh has already started off uh, this short course training from collaboration from the international counterpart. 
So we'll have look into it and we'll advise and we'll also start uh, this, uh, short, uh, this sort of short course in Bangladesh with you, uh, hopefully. Uh, time is limited and uh, uh, we will try to continue more with students in the next uh, sessions. And it was a good startup with you as well for having this discussion. And uh, through your uh, ways of approach, uh, Bangladesh viewers uh, obviously will get uh, more information. And uh, if you have any conveying message to the Bangladesh student uh, and the parents, you can convey and I will also convey a message. Sure. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Malik. Uh, thank you so much for listening to us today. That's a, that's a pleasure, as I said, to speak to Mr. Malik and Arona Inter uh, International. It's our first time talking online. So uh, hopefully you picked up all the necessary information that you need. We will be happy uh, to assist you in the future if you have more questions or interest in the UNIQL programs. And at the same time, uh, I want to wish everyone to take care of each other, to take care in this pandemic situation situation to to keep safe and follow all the required procedures and rules to keep to keep distance to wash your hands even though this is some such a simple steps but uh, but they save many lives and of course uh, I want to wish you a very happy eat uh, that is coming on the upcoming weekend so all the best wishes to you and your families and loved ones and hope to see, hope to see you one day in UNIQL premises thank you Ms. Olga uh, for your uh, extensive uh, message uh, extending towards Bangladesh and uh, your offer and the wishes for the upcoming Muslim festival here and same uh, wishes back to you with all God's spirit and for the viewers of uh, Bangladesh this will be a great opportunity you have already heard what uh, Ms. Olga said regarding the unique offer uh, which UNIQL is extending to the international platform and also to the domestic platform both. So if you have any questions, particularly the students, you can contact directly to Ms. Olga or through Arona International, whatever question you will submit, we will place it to the university uh, there and shall get you back all the information for further notification. Until then, a very goodbye from Bangladesh and stay safe uh, and secure. Thank you once again. Yeah, thank you. Well, thank you.